How's it going, folks? Antoine here with Corker Lifestyle and Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new streaming service, View It. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys sort of a first-person look at the platform. That way, you know whether or not this streaming service is right for you. And we're going to be taking a look at the device availability, the features, and its content. All right. So first, let's start off with device availability. They're available in the Google Play Store, Android, iOS Store, Apple, Roku, Fire TV, Chromecast, which is extremely important for a lot of people, and Apple TV, which is also important as well. And they're also available on web browsers. So next, let's get into the content and the core um, concept of View It. So View It only displays local news so unlike locast we're just going to head on over to locast website you see locast has the um, sub channels 11.1 11.2 13.2 13.3 13 view it doesn't have any of that so you're not going to see bounce or grit or me tv pbs kids and none of that it's just strictly news then they also have um live a lot their version of live TV which includes the local news their shows and events which is a, a um, an interesting place um, I mean we're gonna get to it but you guys should definitely check it out but they also have a section for eSports eSports I'm gonna show you guys that as well but let's go ahead and head to um, just browse through the interface so one thing I like about this platform, the same with Stir and Locast, is you can watch local news from different cities. It doesn't have to be local news for your city. So that's one of the things I enjoy doing is I just um, go to a different city and see what's happening with their um, with their local news or see what's going on in their area. So let's go ahead and head down, browse through the home section. So. We see we got featured shows, recommended, uh, view it playlists. All right, so granted that this is a brand new streaming service, so there's not a lot of original content on here when it comes to like feature shows. I'm going to get into that. They have different genres, a travel genre, a food genre, um, but. Um, they do have they have partnered with over 200 market affiliates so there's local news for everybody there's local news for everybody so um, let's go ahead and head to the show section so if we go down here you have a hundred percent chance of wine so that's uh, uh that's your going to be part of your travel genre you have race um, what's that the racing you have different sections for anybody. This this stream service kind of reminds me of PBS, right? The content is is great content. It's nothing you have to worry about your kids watching. Um, I mean, it's just good content overall. And even if investigate um, section um, has you know great content that you can check out now. Um, not everything on here is a full epic like a full length. You might have too many clips six mini clips 10 15 minute clips so um it's kind of, it's all over the place with content but i think that's what people like nowadays especially um with what quibi tried to do they try to come out with a short form um, but this content has short form and long form episodes on here so it's kind of reaching everybody but um let's, let's just click on the few curated you see right here we have 181 episodes seven seasons so if we go ahead and dive into here you see that some episodes are nine minutes, seven minutes, um, just going down. But I mean, it's content for days, and I I would definitely expect for this platform to to bring in more content because they are, have a partner with well, not partner, but they have worked with um, Fubo TV, Hulu TV. So I expect to see more from this platform in the future. So let's go back here to um, click on the live TV icon. Now, when you're browsing on your Roku player, it's gonna, it's not gonna look similar, but the content, I, I will say this: on a Roku, it's easier to navigate. The content is all there for you to just go ahead and click on by genres. But let's go down here to food curated, which you're all in your own there. 
but it's, it's going to show you guys around and one of the the things I really wanted to show you guys was the esports. So we go down here to shows. So the cool thing about esports, you can be a regular person and you can apply to be part of their esports team. So what the esports team is is just for gamers. If you're a gamer and they do say you know Fortnite players, um, say Overwatch players. A uh, couple other different games. If you want to submit your yourself to be featured or to be part of the team, you can do it. So you could you you can actually be um, part of the streaming service. You know, having content on here. So that's a big plus. But esports is just online game, and it's not football or anything. It's just gameplay. It's just online gameplay. Now, getting over to events. This is what I like. You have um, local high school games, um, football, soccer, basketball volleyball it's on here so check back here and they're going to show you what's going on see right here they have the date and the time that you can check it in to watch it so that's a pretty cool thing now another thing about this platform they do say that uh, when it comes to live shows you can it's, it's going to be available instantly on demand it's going to be available instantly on demand so that's a big perk um, for this platform so just gonna browse through here now they really don't have a lot of uh, original content here now me personally I like the content that's similar to um, ID investigate discovery discovery ID so that's one of the things I mentioned a lot is going into court cut and if you know what type of content you watch it'll be easy so if you're a thriller type of person or horror drama comedy it'll be easy for you to find the right streaming service right and you'll know where to go to find your content for me pluto tv tuba tv uh, netflix hulu i know where to go to find my content so i don't i'm not i'm not up in the air i know where to land all right so just going down here and the cool thing about this investigate tv is you don't have to really it's kinda like YouTube where you get straight to the point so you see we have one minute clips three minute clips that lets you know they're getting straight to the point now with this platform you do have to watch some advertisements but which isn't a bad thing right so let's go over here to the find station tab so if you wanna check out and see what's going on in other cities around you you can just go over here and just go to it, you know. Um, say Kansas City. It's gonna show you their live um, news station. You see right here, we have the live tab. Boom. And their guide is just amazing. You can see what's going on. It's letting you know whether or not it's live or it's a replay. So that's a cool thing. So um, I really see this platform becoming something better. They are already off to a good start. They're available on it every core of the platform except smart TVs but uh, I think when it comes to a, 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 a streaming service like this that offers live TV I think Hulu has the I mean not Hulu but Pluto TV has kinda has the market so the Pluto and Zumo they're pretty much in on it already on smart TVs so I wouldn't I'd be shocked to see them you know be available on smart TVs but let's just browse through some more so their politics section is real small I believe that's just the only politics section their business section is very small but I definitely see this as a platform that you can go to um, for just miscellaneous information you know if you're that type of person if you're not into YouTube um, you can go here and just some people are definitely into news so you can just go through here and be nosy and see what's going on in other cities and states but one thing they don't have is weather you know it seemed like in 2020 all the weather channels weather stations is just you know the people are not push the companies are not putting them out in the forefront like that you know I remember you know when I worked for Dish people had to have the weather channel but it just seemed not to be a, that big of a deal right now. But, you know, I wonder why that is. The weather is still happening. 
Um, but it would be nice if they had like a weather channel. But uh, I believe the guy that created Comcast, I forgot his name, Byron. Um, I, I think he owned a weather channel. Maybe, I don't know, we get into conspiracy theories, but that's, I'm, that's just me overthinking, right? But let's just go down here and just browse through. See, let you guys see the content. Uh, but like I said at the beginning, I see it as a like a, a PBS, right? It's like a PBS. You have documentaries right there. Um, go to this view of esports division. But you know, it's not that much going on. The same thing with Stir. The same thing with Lowcast. The same thing with any. Uh, up and coming streaming service. You know, they all start off small until they get some big backers. But I like the way they came out because if you look at it, this streaming service is available on Roku and Fire TV when HBO Max didn't. But that lets you know that if you're a big dog, um, these, streaming, these streaming devices are going to um, approach you like you're a big dog. They're going to want something from you. Um, that they don't want from the smaller people so we're gonna see I'm gonna keep my eye on this and keep you guys updated on this streaming service because I'm pretty sure if they get any bigger they're gonna eventually start running into issues uh, streaming services trying to block them uh, well streaming devices trying to block them or want more of their ad revenue because this is an ad based platform so um, yeah folks uh, let me know what you think about this service if you tried it, and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.